So I have on my bench the air pump from the air horns on my motorbike. I was uh, quite rudely cut up the other day by someone who um, looked me in the eye, acknowledged I was there and then pulled out in front of me. Uh, which, you know, it was slow moving traffic, it was rude more than dangerous. Um, and of course I went to blow my horn and throw abuse back at him, but of course my horn didn't work at that moment. And after stripping it down, I realised or spotted the the brush. Uh, it's not retaining, is it? The, the the brush spring that pushes the the brushes onto the the armature of the motor, uh, the commutator, uh, has rotted away. I mean, it's difficult to see here, but this spring uh, was on there, and it's now too short to reach the brush. It's 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 rusted away in this sort of ball of corrosion here. Um, so all I did was went to my sewing kit, got some safety pins, uh, spent about 20 minutes wrapping them round uh, Judas screwdrivers with my small pliers and fashioned a replacement spring which um, does the job. That's the replacement spring and that's the original one and with just pushing it on my fingers. They, they have about the same amount of spring in them. Um, so I'm going to assemble that, put it back on the bike and see if it uh, see if it works. So of course on assembly, the moment I put some some stress on the um, the flexible wire to the motor brush, um, uh, tr trying to get the cave cover back together. Of course, it fractured because it was underneath that that ball of rust that I conveniently ignored. So I've managed to tin the stub coming out of the brush, and and looks like I've got a, a bit of tin on the um, the actual contact that goes to the the crimp connector on the other side. Uh, that was partly helped because I have this ancient, really ancient. Fry's Metals, uh, made in England, uh, flux, uh, sorry, solder, which has a, a more aggressive flux in it than, um, you know, your more modern um, electrical solder, uh, which is is slightly more aggressive. So I've got some reasonably flexible uh, wire here that, that's off a, I think, a battery connector. Um, of a dead lithium cell and I'm going to try and reattach it so as it still does the movement and um, has a nice thick wire on it for carrying the current. So I've replaced the motor um, the motor brush wire and that's that's moving just perfectly now. There's the spring is good uh, and I'm going to assemble it and see if it works. There it is in its place of, of operation on the front of the bike. <coughs> Tube on. Now annoy all the neighbours. We can reach the fucking. <coughs> Success.